Alrighty, now for some reason, I did not have my mic on when I was re-recording this replay footage with the Type 90. I will say this had, this was not one of my best rounds. I mean, I, I did 17,000-something damage, which wasn't bad. But I took a lot of damage. I ended up I didn't end up dying, but I came close. But I, I kept this match in for the review, because it shows the strengths and weaknesses of this tank very, very well. You will quickly see it has no armor. EG, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. But notice how quickly I'm, I'm making sure my friend's facing that BMP, because if he gets a side shot, that shot, he'll do a ton of damage. But, oh, look at that. He did 725 to the fox, because the fox didn't take better cover early on. And These bad AFVs, you will see, this is going to be a problem later on. Yes, you just got penetrated frontally by a Terminator. Oh, but the Terminator took friendly fire! But now look, there's a Challenger too. Now I have to use cover. He's, he's pushing me. I mean, I can say it's good gun handling, but it doesn't have very good armor, so you have to be careful. Take a shot, and I'll quickly back away. Notice how I'm keeping a tank between his gun barrel and me. So I get a lucky shot right here. Ammo wrecked. <laughs> very efficient with ammo, as you can see. But you'll see, I mean, this thing looks like on paper it's got decent hull armor, but it doesn't. It doesn't at all. The fact that I'm backing up already. I mean, a salvaged M8 Thunderbolt is not the... I wouldn't think that's be a very big thing, but look. He did 455 damage. Let's, let's, see, where, let's see where he hit me. Now, so, sometimes they, they don't render the damage properly. So I have to zoom into your tank and try and find the, where it hit you. I'm pretty sure it was on the upper hull. It's ridiculous. I mean, on paper, this thing should have should resist 400 something <clears throat> of AP without factoring in the angle of the armor and the angle of impact or anything. And yet, you'll routinely get penetrated in the front, upper even and lower all the time, upper way more often than not. Unfortunately, the fox and I both whiff a shot. The fox gets low damage tools, so now he has to go kill him. But this, it, it really is a problem. This thing is really, really shitty armor. And I don't know if it's in this match or in the other one that I recorded, but I'm sure where you can get shot through the very middle. I mean, the, all around, the gun mantlet and all the, area, all the little areas around there. So you have to turn your turret maybe three to five degrees away from incoming fire, so they're basically hitting the, the front or the side. The side turret armor is pretty strong, but it's not as well sloped as the front, and as you'll later see, I, I did get penetrated for full damage by an M1A2. And I'll, I'll go over everything later on, but look at this thing go. It's actually not that bad. This is about as quick as my T-80, if not a little bit quicker, but with much better aim time. And then, obviously, better at penetration. Not as much damage, of course, but I mean, this thing's gun handling is amazing. It's so laser beamy, just point and shoot devastation. Now, here we're all playing this kind of carefully because the M8 has shots at all of us. So I'll just wait, make sure I get a shot. There we go. And I quickly back away. No sense in sitting up here. Unfortunately, the fox doesn't fall. He just kind of sits there. And then, oh, he just gets pushed because he didn't pull up while he was reloading. Fucking retard. And this is this is a problem with the AFVs. So I figure, all right, well, if the BMP and the BMP 3M, well, the, th the 3M was really stupid. He he didn't come out far enough. He should have been with the three and gone out all the way and then pushed it. Instead, this guy's getting shot from two sides. Retard alert class. So spoiler, he's going to be the second AFV to die. This guy's just kind of hanging out there. So, but I figure alone with these AFVs dying, I, I really need to push. I, I need to pretend to, like I have armor. But as you'll see, this thing just—it's got none. I mean, the only reason I got really lucky bounces. I, I like how this—that shot didn't hit the stingray, or it, it hit the stingray but didn't do any damage. No, there goes the BMP 3M. There goes the warrior. Oh, there we go. 367. That was on the upper hull. Actually, yeah, I got shot twice on the upper hull. I, I know where I first got shot. Yeah, see? There's one, and there's one behind the ERA tile. You'll see. One, two. Look at that. It's ridiculous. This thing's armor is fucking trash. 
The lower plate will not stop anything. Upper plate will also probably stop, not stop anything, but thankfully this tank isn't very tall. And it's and you don't need to have a lot of cover. It's also not very wide. So you can take cover behind broken AFVs, you can take cover behind broken light tanks, and as you'll see, I'll use this warrior's cover as I push up into the Thunderbolt. Oh, he just got destroyed. And then the bane of my existence. A 287-140. Granted, it doesn't have the 140, but I still don't feel like pushing him. Not like, not like this. So, I, I shift targets. There we go. Put a shot in the M1A2. I'm going to help the BMP3 and the 1134 as much as I can. Whack! Nice 601 high damage roll. Ooh, lucky. Good thing you shot that truck. I'm still watching the M1A2. Not closely enough, though, as he will later push out and hit me on the side turret for full damage. I think I'm joking. You'll see. Aww. Oh, I think, we, yeah, we both missed that. Well, I hit his track, and I think he missed. See, this tank forces you to get good at baiting shots, and... Ooh, lucky, lucky bounce here, but I, my shot went right in. Now, I'm gonna get shot in the side turret here. Watch carefully. M1A2 isn't out yet. He will be, though. The one's starting to creep out of cover. I don't notice it, though. I'm, I'm, I thought he was going for the BMP. Whack! 443. To the second best armored part of my tank, the side turret. I mean, we still kill him, but... I think I, I pause it a bit just to show you. I look around, and I'm like, there's no fucking way he went through that. Oh, but there is, but I want to kill his 2A7-140 first. I'm surprised I didn't lose my gunner, or my autoloader, or my turret ring. Yeah. See that little hole there? It's not a good thing. Side turret. And that should tell you something. The second best armored part of this tank will still not stop equal or higher tier shots. Or it probably won't even stop most lower tier shots. But at least with that, you have a chance. Whereas if you just let them shoot straight down the middle of your turret, you will always get penetrated by every fucking thing under the sun. Everything. From auto cannons to main shells, HE, you name it. I, I've had everything penetrate my middle, because there's it's, it's a zero armor spot. I don't know why that is. This tank's already got fucking terrible armor already. That's firepower. I mean, it's got the best penetration at its tier with Sabo. So that's fun. You can you can penetrate stuff at extremely shallow angles, like the Challenger one. I'm, I'm eating him alive. I'm just pumping shot after shot out here. Ah. Uh, turned. Now, thankfully, the AFVs, they, they're able to capture the main. It was a good thing I put some bunch of shots into that M1A2 and got him all distracted with me. So they had a lot of shots at his side and rear. No, that was good. As we'll see... This is not enough. It's simply not enough. Even with me carrying this team. Oh, look at him, too, Bradley. 585, don't mind if I do. I mean, I have very few ERA ties left, so I'm not too concerned with trying to hide them. It doesn't really matter. Now, oh boy, our 1134, who still had a lot of ammo left, just died. Now he used a field retard kit. He spawned closer to the artillery, so he figures he's gonna, he's gonna go hunt artillery for the rest of the battle. I'm like, whatever, that's fine. The MP3 and I will, will probably be alright. The weasel is having a lot of trouble penetrating me frontally, but... It's the sides? Not very thick. You will not bounce jack shit off your side, unless it's an autocannon. I have never, ever, 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 ever bounced a main battle tank shot off my side hull. And it, you'll see this with the Type 85. I mean... Notice. He's pushing. I got, I got a good shot into him, but look at that. Lower hull. Or my, actually, no. No, 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 no. I, I, I remember this shot. He got me through the middle of my turret, because I didn't turn it far enough. I, I don't pause it to show, but I think that's where he hit me. Now, as you can see, our BMP-38 just died. He sui scouted. God, those fucking AFVs. They're so bad. 1134, I mean, he used a field retarget. He wouldn't even be alive under most conditions. At least he was killing the artillery. I mean, I don't, I don't have too many problems, but here I get really lucky. Look at this. That should have killed me. That M109 Paladin got such a low damage draw. I almost felt sorry for killing him. 
But I did anyway. Oh well. So I'm thinking, alright, I've got probably five to seven shells left. I don't quite remember because I didn't screenshot the stats or anything, but I very clearly have the most damage in this battle by a long, long way. A lot more than even the 3 and the 3M, the two best DPM machines. Now, of course, I'm like, for fuck's sake, team, you guys suck. I'm now, notice, I don't have armor. I can't push here. I just... Nope. Try to, I, that was the only place I had to shoot. I, I couldn't move up further because there was an M8 and there were two M8s there. And either one of them would have headshots my side hull or side turret. I would have died. So there you have it. Shitty team. Plus, yeah, I mean, I made a couple of mistakes. I mean, I should have thought it was weird that the Type 85 was pushing me. I'm like, well, why would you do that? I'm like, you have no armor. I should have, I should have just backed up immediately. Instead, I held my ground for about a second and a half. But this tank, no. As soon as you fire. If you're against something that's even remotely well-armed, back up. Unless you are absolutely, positively sure their shots are going to miss. Like, they, that you've got something between you and them, or that you've baited their shots properly so that they'll miss instead of hitting you. Because if you get hit with a metal tank shell, it is going in, bar none, every fucking time to every fucking part of the hull. And I'll prove to you how bad this thing's armor is. On paper, like, oh, this doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't look bad at all. And then it's only got a 1.3 composite for HE and AP. <laughs> so that's not good. But no, 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 no. It's, let, 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 let's look at the armor. Yeah. 442? Bullshit. There's not a single part of that front hull that'll block 442 without without angle of impact. There's not a single part of that hull, and I can prove that that, that, that is not an accurate value. I, I know M8s will penetrate me. They have stupidly high penetration guns, even the salvage ones. But, if a salvage Type 85 only has 354 millimeters of penetration on average, how the fuck did he penetrate my upper hull? Hmm? <laughs> Tell me that, game. You're lying about this thing's armor. This should be classified as an overgrown light tank. It should have like a half diamond. It should be like a medium tank. But even, because it's, it's really only proof against autocannons, and even then, only under specific conditions. I, mean, I love its gun handling, though. 